Okay, so we have this really stubborn um, polyline here. And so what I can do is, um, part of these is when I'm clicking on these polylines, is I'm looking over here in the properties and where it says close no, then I know this is not a closed polyline. So typically when I'm done, I always get in the habit of after I draw my polyline to end the polyline, I don't actually click at the last point. I use CL, which is the close command, and then it automatically closes. And now you can see it's closed. So I always highly, highly recommend that when you're drawing your polylines, when you get to the very end, use the CL command and enter, and then that will for sure close your poly, then I will not have an issue selecting it and then having that hatch on there. And that hatch will have the, the right areas where sometimes you can see here, this doesn't have the correct area. So that, that's given us a problem. Um, you wouldn't be able to do an area takeoff with that. Um, which is kind of a lot of the point of patching is we can find out how many square feet an area is. So let's go through and do some troubleshooting. So I know this is closed or is not closed. It says no. Um, so one of the things I can do is I can come through and I can just grab these lines and see if they move. You can see it's kind of, it does look like it it's connected, but I just undid. Another thing is usually what I will do is I will use the break command, so BR, and then I select an area and an area. And then you can see right here, so it is that line. So if I delete that right there, and I'm gonna clean this up by removing that, little point is now, even though I have this gap, if I hit close, yes, now it's closed. Now I can come here and I'll match the properties so it looks the same. Now you can see I have square footage. And I'm gonna delete this one and I'm gonna try and find where this isn't closed. So I'm just gonna take a random, you know, I like to choose a, a straight shot here. So I can see it goes all the way through, is continuous by all the blue vertexes until this point right here. So if I remove this, bring this back down, and then I hit close. Now I can hatch it. Now when I select it, I have the exact square footage. So you can see, again, so this has no land and no area. So what I will do is it comes around. So I'm gonna break it in this location. And I'm gonna find out, oh, it's even right here. So that very coincidental. Now I can just close it. And I can hatch it. And now I have my area. And that's the key thing. I mean, part of it is for a planting plan, you'll want the hatch to be able to show um, your, um, your ideas of a turf area or a shrub hatch. But a lot of this is what the client wants to know too, is, is how much area is involved, what your square footage costs are. And this is what, this is the importance of it. It's gonna tell you to break down how many shrubs you're gonna have and, and what the cost is. Another thing, let's say you have right here, you have 
this barbecue or whatever this is, a lot of times here, I'll come in, I'll add a vertex. So when I'm doing this now, Uh, that's not perfect tracing, but this is going to get close enough. So now when I hatch it, now because the polyline has gone around this and come back, you can see how I did it is it comes through. I don't overlap. If you overlap this, it, it really freaks it out here. I'll show you real quick. Um, but now I don't have an elevation or I don't have area, but let's see if I move it this way. Now all of a sudden I get the area. So you really don't want to cross over your lines because it, it screws that up. That's another reason why I look at things. So then now I have my area, do my area this way, and then it tells me my square footage. So. I'm going to match properties. There you go. So um, hope those hints are good. So I will always stress on this is um, always trying. It's easiest to when you're drawing your polyline is to try and always finish with it being closed with the CL command. So you can see right here, I think this, so I'll undo this. Turn it to close. Oh, really see it really kind of did something funky here. So I don't like that. So I'm going to undo that. So this all the way over here isn't connected either. So I would suggest that that this, this line type makes it really funky to work with. I, I personally wouldn't use that. It's probably causing you some problems. Um, but so that there. I use the join command make it one line and now I've closed it. I'm going to remove this extra vertex and then come in to move it where it needs to be. It needs to be over here and I can hatch it real quick. And let's see, oh, area flow. My areas, or you can see on yours down here, it has the same area. And then I could just match the properties. And there you go. I hope you found this useful. Thank you.